Holy shit, I did too much. I am too late. And he's like, no, you're not. You're hitting it again. I said, okay, I'm hitting it again. Hey, what's good, y'all? It's Young Gravy. These are my fingers. And this is the time that they all nutted simultaneously on DMT. So when I was 18, I got in trouble in Georgia for some shit I didn't do. I got charged with 240 hours of community service and I had to do them within 18 months or go to prison. So I moved to Bozeman, Montana for a few months. I'm living in basically a commune. This is just real Wookiee, granola, Montana shit. The second day I was there, I walk into the kitchen one day and I just, it smells like burnt plastic. And this dude is cooking up DMT on the stove. He's like, bro, DMT, it's, it's time. Let's, let's make it happen. So then me and my boy and this other gal who we lived with all went down into this basement. Ratchet little stanky basement. Instantly takes the aux cord, puts on this like tribal music. And I'm not talking dope tribe. I'm talking like you're about to get sacrificed type music. So we all lay down on this like ridiculously big mattress that I, <laughs> I found in an alley. And this man just straddles me, just mounts me. He puts the little DMT pipe up to me. It's almost like he's riding a horse or something. And he's like, he's like feeding, <laughs> feeding me. He said, all right, dude, you're gonna hit it a lot and then we'll hit you again. But I'm saying, no, you know what? Three hits. Within six seconds, I'm like, holy shit, I did too much. I am too late. And he's like, no, you're not. You're hitting it again. I said, okay, I'm hitting it again. Basically, by this point, I'm like, the whole room is a samurai video game, and I'm seeing these crazy lights, and this girl next to me is an NPC. I probably hit it for like three seconds, and then it's it's blast off. It's, it's like, we got it. We did it. Like, I'm good. The best way to describe it, people always say you can't really describe it. The best way that I could say is like, you're living in a, in a TV. Someone else is flipping through the channels, and you're just one of the characters in like the TV show. I'm at this club that's like mariachi themed. Everybody is dressed like a mariachi singer. I know that shit. Like, I knew every word. I'm just, like, feeling myself. And I wish it wouldn't, that no one would have changed the channel. But the real dedicated channel for me was land on this little planet. Everything, like, there's not, nothing real too exciting. But I look in, there's this beautiful neon diner. It was instilled in me from the first moment that I needed to pursue a career at this diner. I kid you not, I worked at this diner for three years. I remember going through three years of it. It's just me and this one girl, bad bitch, bad alien bitch that's working there. In the three years, there was like 10 customers total, so we're just chilling a lot of the time. I, I, I look back on that like it was it was a few years of my life. You know, this was this was a period at, right after right after the commune in Montana. It was the other planet with the diner. And finally, the DMT starts to sort of wear off. I wake up, I have this crazy feeling come over me. Every single finger, my phalanges were nutting right there. The first thing I do when I wake up from my damn DMT trip, sit up and look at this girl next to me and be like, yo, did I nut on this woman? I look, <laughs> everything's all good. I think I'm really back in life. I'm, I'm laying next to the homies. We're all like freaking out like, oh my God, that was, so cool and then the earth just straight up starts shaking the whole room starts shaking our landlord shaman buddy is like sober and he's like yo what the fuck is going on and he's really tripping like yo you guys just created an earthquake there's this whole ass earthquake in montana the the highest magnitude one they'd had in like five years or something 10 minutes after we trip which is the cherry on top it was like yo <laughs> do more dmt baby Tales from the...